gone are the open canopies and the sun shining through on the lightly coloured leaves. Now the canopies are closed and the leaves are darkened. Gone is spring and summer has arrived. Summer has also arrived in my garden. The spring flowers replaced by those of summer. Among them, the bird's foot trefoil. This is the food plant of the larva of many species of butterfly and the source of nectar for many pollinating insects that are guided into the flower by the lines on the upper petal. The oxide daisy, a complex flower with ray florets around the outside surrounding the disc floret, arranged in an intriguing pattern and flowering in sequence from the outside inwards towards the centre. In my garden there is also yellow rattle. This is a hemiparasite. The roots of this plant attach themselves to the roots of the nearby grasses and take nutrient from those grasses. The scientific name for this plant is rhinanthus, an allusion to the nose shape of the flower. In the seed heads, the seeds become loose and when the wind blows, they rattle, hence the common name of yellow rattle. Stepping outside my front door, attention might be drawn to the purple of the rhododendron, but then it comes to rest on this plant. This is the pineapple weed. Crush the leaves to get the scent of pineapple. And as with the oxide daisy, the florets flowering from the outside in. In a local patch of grass, there is white clover, another rich source of pollen and nectar. In this case, for the red-tailed bumblebee. Amongst the hedgerows, there are the elder flowers. At various stages of development, some are light green and tight shut, others white as they begin to open. And when they are open, they are once again a rich source of pollen and nectar for the insects. When the flowers are gone, you're left with a skeleton. In the hedgerow, dog rose, deriving its name from the idea uh, that the roots offered protection against mad dogs, or perhaps uh, that the spines resembled the teeth of a dog. In the buds, the pink of their flower shows through. But as the flowers open, uh, they become whiter. A source of nectar and pollen for many insects once again. Elsewhere in the hedgerow, honeysuckle. The flowers contain a lot of nectar, which if you suck on them, take them off and suck at the bottom, you'll taste that sweetness. And that's where it gets its name from. 
bramble. Another one of these plants that provides sustenance to the insects during June. The flowers opening to reveal a mass of anthers. In the roadside, the digitalis, the foxglove, named perhaps because of the idea that foxes would put the flowers on their feet to quieten their step at night. This bumblebee emerges covered in pollen, which it cleans and places in the pollen sacks. Before it goes in for more, and again covered in pollen, this time it flies off. The government is easing lockdown restrictions. Our eyes are moving to the distance. Will we forget what is on our doorstep? 